Hey, it's the old camera guy here to talk about a trip I took to Chicago recently. I try to make Chicago once a year if I can. And these last few years, I've tried to make more of an effort to try to visit some different neighborhoods and see some things I haven't seen before. And this year, I had my sights set on the Pilsen neighborhood. If you know anything about Chicago, you know it's got a great transit system with the L. And Pilsen in particular is pretty easy to get to, pretty accessible from the pink line at 18th or Damon, or you can take the orange line down to Halstead. So I had no excuse not to check out the neighborhood. Now Pilsen is known for a few different things. One of the things they're known for is authentic Mexican food, and I did have some great carnitas while I was there. And another thing they have there is the National Museum of Mexican Art, which has a lot of great free exhibits year-round, and a really cool gift shop too. But not all the art in Pilsen is on the walls of the museum. As a matter of fact, one of the best things about Pilsen is all the street art is there. And the street art is really the main reason why I wanted to check out Pilsen. So I had it all planned out. I brought a roll of Ektar 100 with me to capture all that vibrant street art. But the big problem was the day I was able to go to Pilsen was extremely overcast, very rainy. And if you know anything about Ektar, you know it really needs a lot of light to capture great images. And it just wasn't happening that day. So. This gave me a great excuse to head down to Central Camera in the South Loop on South Wabash. Central Camera is a photographer's paradise. It's been in business over 100 years. So of course when they started, film photography was just photography. But then when digital came around, well they embraced that too. And that's really kind of how I feel about photography in general. I call myself a digital photographer because I shoot mainly film. So film comes first, but I do dabble in digital as well. And while I was in Chicago, I did snap a few pictures on my phone, but that was really the extent of my digital photography. So while I was at Central Camera, I did grab a roll of Portra 400, and I figured with the 400 speed film that would be a little bit more appropriate for the conditions that day. Since the conditions really were pretty dreary, I went ahead and brought my Nikon Light Touch AF compact camera because that's small enough I can easily fit it in my pocket between shots so it didn't get too wet. Now on the way down to Poston, I did stop off at the Ashland stop on the pink line to grab some shots of the skyline, and I've included those photos here as well. So, if you get a chance to get to Chicago, my suggestion is to get out and explore some of the different neighborhoods. Because as great as downtown is with the Loop and the Magnificent Mile and the Bean and all that, if downtown is all you see, I think you'll be missing out on some really great stuff to see in Chicago. If you like what you saw here today, give it a big thumbs up down below and subscribe to this channel. You can find me on Flickr, Instagram, and Tumblr as The Old Camera Guy, all one word. And as always, do some good, have some fun, and shoot some film.